This walkthrough takes you through everything you need to know about using Bramble Booking as a tutor. Once you've received the invitation to create your Bramble account in an email, just click on this link to register your details. Once you've set up your account, you'll be taken straight to your tutor profile where you can upload a profile picture and complete your experience, biography, and select the subjects and levels you tutor. Make sure to make your biography as detailed as you can as will be part of your application for any tutoring you do. Once you click Update Profile, you'll be automatically taken to your Blocks page where you can see any appropriate available blocks to apply for. Simply click on them to view the block information and check your availability. Tick all of the sessions you are available for and only apply if you can make most of the sessions. The more available you are, the more likely it is you are chosen for the block. And note there will be an application window of a few days giving the teacher time to select what tutor they want. You can apply for as many blocks as you want and if you find you do become unavailable for any reason, you can withdraw your application by selecting the block and clicking here. Once you have been chosen by a teacher for a block, it will then appear in the Confirm section of your blocks page. You will also be immediately notified by us via email. If you click here, you can view your schedule, and if there are any sessions you can't make, please contact the teacher to rearrange. You can see their email address on the block details here. Once you've agreed those changes, the teacher will reschedule the sessions, you'll receive an email notifying you when this happens, and your schedule will be updated accordingly. To join the session, simply click here at the arrange time. Once the sessions have been completed, the session recordings will appear on your sessions page, which will end up looking something like this. Each card you see here represents a single session and shows you the lesson information, including the date, time, session number, and email address of each participant. Smart subject detection should automatically assign your session a subject, but you can also choose this here or change it if you need to. The synopsis you see here is generated according to the most discussed terms in the session, so it means at a glance you can see what that particular session was about and what was discussed. If you just want to see the visual material of a lesson, you can view and download a PDF copy of the work covered just by clicking on the little PDF icon here. It will then open up for you in a new tab. You can also play back a full recording, so say for example this English literature session down here, just click on the play button and it will start from as soon as the second voice is joined and the lesson begins. Postmodernist literature contains a broad range of concepts and ideas that include responses to modernism, so what we saw in the last slide, responses to technological advances. See, this is like... We've introduced smart playback, which is symbolised by this brain icon. When enabled, it detects any silences and pauses in recordings and skips through them without missing any of the content on screen. You can click on it again to disable it if you so wish and you can also speed up and slow down the recorded voice. Lesson recordings are a great addition to the tutoring experience, but they're not enough on their own. Realistically, no student is going to go back and listen to all your lessons again all the way through. So we needed to find a way of interrogating these recordings to find the specific concepts that want to be reviewed at any given point. Now this is where Bramble's smart search technology comes in. So you can do this by heading to your library page and typing in a search term to find out how many times a given concept has been discussed with you and your student in your sessions. On the right hand side you can see the modality of what you're searching across, so you can choose to search within spoken word, type text, shared resources or all three. Guided Autocomplete makes it easy for you to explore and find different concepts. You can either click on the highlighted section of the lesson you want to listen back to or you can choose a specific resource relating to that subject. This is especially useful for you as the tutor if you ever want to use these resources again. Clicking on a result jumps straight into the recordings at the perfect point of that topic being discussed. So there's a part in the cell called the ribosome that the protein is made. So in order for the DNA to get from the nucleus to the ribosome, it has to transport. The way it does that, the way the cell does that, is by turning DNA into RNA, and then the ribosome comes along if you want to find out more information about how to use Bramble, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch our more specific walkthrough videos there. 
You can also go to our help centre at bramble.io.